Just scrolling through my normal days and getting to the point of game day when this headline popped up in my newsfeed. Jack Rodwell has joined Coventry on loan from Sunderland. Oh dearie me, how the mighty fall. Do you remember when he was supposed to be one of the next best England prospects? Uh, yeah, a lot of media hype as normal. I don't know where I've seen that before. Run the intro. So yes, hello and welcome back to another episode of Barnet Bound. It's me, DJM FM. I hope you are all doing amazingly well. Now, since the last game, there has been quite a few games that we've been playing since then. We lost, obviously, the last episode was where we lost 2-1 against Dagenham Redbridge. It was an awful defeat. We just didn't turn up. But four days later, we bounced back and we bounced back in style. We beat Wickham Wanderers for the second time this season. We've beaten them in the St. John's Plains Trophy already. We won 3 0 at their place this time around. Ryan Loft has done really well in the last couple of games. He got himself a couple of goals. A known goal from Aaron Pierre. I love that man for personal reasons. He just, oh, just absolute quality. But yeah, 3 0 win for Barnet. Absolutely great game. We then came back to our place a week later and drew 1 1 with Stevenage. Now, we were bossing this derby match. And I mean, bossing this derby match. And they somehow got a goal from a lucky deflection off Alfie Jones. Tom Pett was just there to tap him from a couple of yards out. And the game just completely fizzled out. We were soon so well and we just couldn't step up another gear when they got their goal and ended up finishing 1-1. We then lost 2-0 to Carlisle who are doing quite well at the moment in League 2. Again, nothing in the game at all. And then all of a sudden they scored their goal and we just completely collapsed. A few sort of minutes later, 15 minutes later, they got themselves a second goal. That was pretty much game over. George Glendon had a really bad game and that set a precedent for him over the next couple of matches to really not perform at a level that we've become accustomed to with this lad. We then got knocked out of the St. Johnson's Paint Trophy in penalties. I've rotated the team around a lot. You'll be able to see from here I gave Charlie Sheen his debut. Um, we gave people like Mark Randall, Connor DeMello, also James Pearson, Alfie Jones a chance in the team. So we really did rotate out quite a bit. Only 780 people turned up for the game. Really poor showing from our fans. And as I said, we're now out of the St. Johnson's Paint Trophy. But then we followed that up with a really, really good 1-1 draw against Leighton Orient. They dominated the entire game. And I mean the entire game. Tom Youngs in the 89th minute though got an equaliser. Just incredible. We absolutely went for it. Jay Simpson though, interestingly enough, has scored 17 goals this season. 17 goals and he's now out for two to three months. It, he got injured in the game that we played. So it that could open up this league massively. So after those results, we're currently lying in eighth place. We just dropped outside the playoffs though, so I want a win today. We're taking on recently relegated crew who have struggled this season and are down in 22nd place. And I was going to play them regardless of the results, but they were around about this sort of position, 15th, 16th, when I thought, right, I'm going to play the crew match. And they've just dropped, and I mean dramatically dropped down the table. Incredible fall for them. Will they get successive relegations? Who knows? Hopefully... We can get the win today and put them in an even worse position than what they were at before. So, 8th place, dropped out of the playoffs. It's not been a good last few games in terms of results. In terms of who we've been playing against, though, it's kind of to be expected. But we need to bounce back today. Let's get to the point of game day. So here we go. This is the, the team lineup for today. Then we're going to be starting out on our normal 4-4-2. We've got Charlie Horton, Ramsey, Whitmore, Dembele and Johnson. That's normally a settled back four at the moment. I'm quite happy with those guys. Andy on the right, Demarlo, Randall and Bywater. The midfield is the problem this season. It's constantly changing around due to injuries, due to form, due to fitness. The defence is pretty much set. It's the midfield which is now becoming a bit of an issue. And Tom Youngs and John Akinde starting up top. Unfortunately, Loft has become, you know, he's got a little bit of an injury. No, I've just seen. No. No. Oh, oh, Grant Holt. Oh, Grant Holt. I absolutely love this man. Unbelievable. 
He scored three goals against the scum grotto. Grotto. He scored three goals against the scum grotto. Grotto. La 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 la. Oh, I love that man. Absolutely love him. Please do not score against me today. And David Fox. Oh, this is just Norwich Day just coming out in all his glory here. David Fox set up that magnificent goal for Simeon Jackson to get the winner against Portsmouth. Anyway, stop reminiscing about Norwich. Come on, concentrate on Barnet. This is a big game. Hopefully, if we can get ourselves a win, we move back up into the playoff positions and get ourselves on a bit of a decent run. It's going to be tough. Crew are going to be no easy match. You've seen some of the players that are in their team already. You know what they're capable of. We're away from home. What can we do today? So Ramsey with a throw in now plays it to Andy. Great ball in. Is that a goal? It's in. That's a goal, John Akinde with his third goal of the season. His 50th league goal for Barnett. That's what I'm talking about, my son. So Ramsey with the throw in here. Andy just puts in a first time ball. Little bit of pinball action. Oh no, no, just goes straight in off John Akinde. The goalkeeper doesn't react properly to it. And Barnett are one nil up. Guess him. What a start to the game. Grano, he scored three goals against the scum. Grano, Grano, he scored. David Fox with the corner in now, and it's cleared. Can one of our players get to it? Doesn't look like it. Saunders is just going to collect it. Surely he's going to put the ball back into the box. Plays it to Fox, plays it to Holt. I've said that finally too many times in my life. Back to Fox. John Akinde with a tackle. Well done, lad. And can we break now with Young? Skip past your man. Does well. Just needs to play it off to the right-hand side here. Great ball over to Andy. And he's on the right ball back into Young's. That is a perfect counter-attacking goal if I've, uh, if I've ever seen one. I can't even get my words out. That was that damn good. Get him, boys. What a goal. Young's with a fantastic ball over to Andy, who puts the ball back into the box. And there's Tom Young's. Oh, what a volley. What a volley. We're 2-0 up. What a great start to this match. And John Akinde into Andy now. Oh, what just happened? He's hit the bar. Was that a cross or was that a shot? Only Andy himself will know. So, so far in the match at Gristy Road is 2-0 to Barnet. What an unbelievable half of football. All the highlights have gone our way. Just going to say I'm really pleased, lads. Just keep it going in that second half. Andy has on an 8.6 rate. He has been superb. He set up both of the goals for John Akinde and for Tom Young's. Oh, just unbelievable. The rest of the team's kind of at an average rating, but we've got our three main men causing the havoc and causing all kinds of problems today. That's all we just need to keep doing. The next goal, though, in this game, as always at 2-0, is vital. If we can get that, absolutely game over. Crew get it, and all of a sudden it's game on. Now, can we get the third goal straight away? Andy skips past his marker far too easily, gets into the box. Back up to Bywar, John Akinde. Does that stand? It stands. John Akinde with his fourth goal of the season. Absolutely brilliant. What a start to the second half. So here it is. Andy's ball was a little bit too far. But by water, straight on it. Ball back into the box. No mistake from John Akinde. He gets his head onto it. It's 3-0 Barnet. What an unbelievable match of football so far for us. So, 56 minutes into the game, we've got Yeovil midweek, obviously, which you'll be, you won't see until, uh, then, you know, the next time we do have a little bit of an update. But I need to start resting some of the players who are in and amongst this team. So, George is going to come on for Demalio, and we shall say that Park's going to come on for Kieran Bywater. Just to kind of keep a couple of the players fresh, as I said, we need to keep... You know, as many people available as, you know, as ready to ready to go for the midweek game. Although, got, obviously, you guys won't see that. It's vital that we keep the team going and try and keep a, a solid 11 at constant basis now. Because I think last season, the mistake in the end was rotating too many players. I think this year, we've got to start keeping the same sort of team as and when we possibly can. So, I need to try and do that for the Yeovil match. Obviously, I'm now rambling was crew have their first attack that we've seen of them in the game and i guarantee it's going to result in a goal although glenda's going to clear it to andy brilliant play john akinde is now on the ball after a good attacking play from us can tom young's get on the end of this no nichols is going to clear bywater no sorry bywater we took him off the so park just puts a long ball back up 
and that's the end of the highlight. I thought that was going to be a, a decent chance there for Crew, but it never really materialised. Charlie Horton with the goal kick now. John Akinde flicks on and Nugent clears. But Ramsey intercepts the ball. Great ball up to Tom Youngs. What can he do? He plays it off to Andy now. Some of our football today has been absolutely amazing. Andy gets tackled though. Can we win the ball back? We're going to press. Come on boys. Press them up a little bit higher. They clear it to Brown. Who plays off the Saunas. Back into Brown now. He's through one on one with the goalkeeper. Keeper keen sheep. Well done Charlie Horton. Great save. Charlie Horton has been absolutely class this season. He's been absolutely amazing. I'm so glad I stuck with him in the summer because he is really, really reaping the benefits now. Clean sheet after clean sheet at the moment. He's doing so well and keeps us in these games. Oh, I, I, honestly, I cannot rave highly enough about Charlie Horton. So, a few minutes left of the game. Now I'm just going to make my final substitution, James Pearson for Whitmore. I think Whitmore is going to be too tired for the next game anyway, but... There's no harm in trying to give him a bit of a rest. I would have said John Akinde off, but I know what John Akinde's fitness levels are like. As soon as he reaches 70%, that is it. He cannot play a midweek game at all. He has to wait until the following week. Interestingly, I've just seen that Yeovil have got... Oh, I was about to say a 1-0 winner in the last minute, but Rochdale just got a goal back. So, is that equalising goal for Yeovil? Is that going to kill their confidence going into this next game? It does it well. I mean, it will matter for the next batch, but for us here, we've won 3 0. Well done, boys. Really, really, really well deserved. Fantastic match of football. And we are back in the playoffs. He's so tight once again. All the way from ninth to first is separated by six points. It's going to be another, another tight season up at the top. But the most important thing is that after 13 games, we're in amongst that pack. That is the most important and crucial bit of this stage of the season. We've got a 3-0 win. Absolutely fantastic. A perfect away performance. Everyone played their part. I hope you've enjoyed today. I hope you've enjoyed some of the football that we've put on display for you fine people of YouTube. Barnet FC, what they do best. Nice passing, direct movement, quick play, counter-attacking. This is what we're all about. This is Barnet FC. I've been DJM FM. Thank you as always for watching the video and taking the time out of your busy lives and busy schedules to watch the video. And until next time, as always on the channel, adios.